What's up, guys? Today we are showing you a snapshot of it's uh, the snapshot 13w37b. Yeah. Yes. And I'm gonna show you. There's some new plants and uh, flowers for 1.7. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, this is the large fern. Yeah. Double tall grass. The the pony. I, I just don't think it's pony for some reason. I don't know. I feel like it is. Peony. 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 It looks cool. Anyways. <laughs> the rose bush. Quite pretty. Yeah. Quite pretty. Lilac. Lilac. But lilac, yeah. lilac, lilac. Lilacs and daisies, have you ever heard that before? No. Okay. <laughs> Sunflower, which is pointing that way. East always, I think. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways. <laughs> it's just a red tulip. There's all sorts of tulips. Different colors. Pink tulip, white tulip, orange tulip. They're in the oxy daisy. So cute. Uh, the poppy, blue orchid, allium. I don't even know what that is. Yeah. And azure bluette. You would think it's blue, but okay. All right, well, in addition, <laughs> what? Caleb, I, I just wanted to ask you something. Yeah. Which one is your favorite? Oh, which one's my favorite? Yeah. I don't know. Um, let's see. I like... Let's see. Oh, I like the rose bush, but I also like, uh, I think the pop. No, I like the oxy daisy. Yeah, yeah. oxy daisy is my favorite. I like the I like the blue orchid. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah. All right. So, in addition to there being lots of new plants and flowers, there are three new terrains. One of them is grassless dirt, but we couldn't figure out how to do that. You have to spawn it in. I don't think the spawn code works yet. So we're going to show you the other two. Here is what they call packed ice. Packed ice is like uh, the buff version of ice. It is in icy plains spikes biomes. That sounds weird, I know, but it's real. Uh, icy plains spikes bi biomes. And in these biomes... There will be ice spikes made up of packed ice. And basically what packed ice is, is Superman's ice. It doesn't melt when you put a torch on it. I mean, they'll put all these torches on it. It won't melt. So you can use it. It won't melt. Uh, you make some awesome ice arenas that won't melt from lighting. <laughs> It'd be pretty awesome. Yeah. And then uh, it also does not turn into water when you break it. So it's like super duper ice. So that's pretty cool. And then the other terrain type is Podzol, which comes in taigas, and uh, I think extreme taigas are the other type. Yeah, mega, mega taigas. Mega taigas, yeah. And it, it's basically like dead dirt, like a coniferous rainforest, I think, is yeah. what it's supposed to be. But anyway, so those are, those are some pretty cool updates. In addition to that, there is... The new item frames, uh, instead of hitting it and the whole thing coming down, you can hit it and the item comes out, which is way more convenient than the whole item frame coming down. <laughs> Alright, and now there is finally additions to fishing in in Minecraft, which I for one am oh. excited for. But it's going to be wacky, okay? Alright, guys, so I'm going to get rid of this. Alright, first of all, there's a puffer fish. And it's gonna do some crazy things. Okay, I'm hungry here, so we're gonna eat this puffer fish. You ready to partake of this puffer fish with me? Uh, I'm not hungry yet. Oh. But you can, I mean, you can. Okay, all right, here we go, here we go, guys. Here's what it does to me. It's gonna really mess me up. Then it's gonna make me drunk. I'm, I'm. Not only am I nauseous, like, like, uh, spoiled meat does to you, but I'm also losing health, and that's why I have potions of healing. But I don't think they're gonna. Nope, nope, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna uh. die. Yep, I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, you need potions of healing before you do that. <laughs> okay, hang on. Did you get potions of healing before you did this? No. Okay, here, let me give you some. Alright, there you go. You're gonna, <laughs> want, you're gonna want three. 
Four. There you go. All right. Yeah, so. Five. As Matt's viewers are about to see. If I would run out of hunger, I need to, like, run around or something. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and look at the other fish. All right, guys. Run around, dude. In addition to there being that, I guess I guess you can't die of poison. You can only be taken to half of a heart with poison. But it's basically like the spoiled meat. I'll look at yeah, the other ones that while poison we wait. That poison just lasted a long time. Cause, okay, so but it's like spoiled meat where you get sick and you vomit. But in addition to that, you lose health. And in addition to that, you have the drunk feeling, the dizzy feeling. Okay, then there's also clownfish, which pufferfish and clownfish can't be cooked in this game. So we can eat clownfish... It heals, like, a point of food, I think. <laughs> so basically nothing. Then there's raw salmon, which I think heals a heart, or, I mean, two points of food. And then uh, cooked salmon. Hey, you took my cooked salmon. <laughs> the salmon is the only new fish you can cook. There is there is the old fish, too. They just fish and cooked fish. But then there's raw salmon and cooked salmon. The cooked salmon actually heals you. A significant amount. And I just have like a hunger bar that just does not run out. Are you serious? Dude? Yeah, it's just. You need that in better survival. Yeah, the better survival where it's like draining your hunger. You just need to run. Yeah. I mean, if you get any bit of hunger, it will make you hungry because you're gonna just throw up. So yeah, huh. fishing has been something that's been pretty empty in Minecraft so far. And so they went ahead and improved the whole fish system by making more variation in the fish. And there's actually something new in the fish that we're going to look at in a second, as soon as Matt can be <laughs> As soon as I can fish. eat this thing. Yes. Jeez, I must... Are you still me. not hungry? For real? Oh, here I go, here it goes. All right. all right. Oh, do I need to throw these? I'd wait. I'd wait until you're almost out of arts, because you're gonna go all the oh, way. Oh man. I... It can't kill you though, I think. But the poison lasts for a while. <laughs> this is bad. Yeah, it's pretty crazy, guys. I mean, it does damage to you. It takes your hunger. It makes you nauseous. Oh. It's pretty crazy. Oh, I'm gonna die. No, it can't kill you, so... It can't? Yeah. Oh. So I'll just try not to hit you. Alright, so did you show him the other fish? Yeah, I will. Right. Am I still not... That just, like, made my head hurt. Yeah, you're still poisoned. You're still poisoned. <laughs> so did that... You... Clownfish. Heals like nothing. Yeah. Oh, I just ate to cook's one. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. That All right. pretty much held. All right, yeah. All right. So, in addition to the new fish types, there's another addition to fishing. There are now fishing enchantments. I'm going to show you one. I guess there's no point in doing it, but we're doing it. There you go. We're going to prove it. Oh. Oh. It's called Luck of the Sea. Okay. Apparently, I can't because I'm not in game mode. I don't have enough levels. All right. There you go. I have Luck Lure 3. Lure 3, what it does is it makes your chances of catching fish greater. So I guess you'll catch them more quickly and better fish, hopefully, like the salmon, not the puffer fish, easily. And then uh, Matt got Luck of the Sea. Luck of the Sea, what it does is it makes it more likely that you'll get treasure. You can actually uh, fish treasure now. And basically, the treasure can be good or bad, but it can be pretty cool stuff it can be pretty bad stuff i mean there's like tripwire hooks uh that's about all i know of. but there there is some other stuff and uh, like glass bottles broken fishing rods and stuff like that um but right now i think the fishing system for the snapshot does not work right now we wanted to show you the fishing rods but it wasn't working oh. earlier so i guess it's just not working so in addition to enchanted fishing rods there is another enchantment update in this chest there are double enchanted books now so you can take a book up to the enchantment table you can enchant it and you will get double enchantments sometimes like this one is flame one knockback two uh earlier we had enchanted Wait, what do you do you you take the book to the enchantment thing yeah yeah put it in get the highest enchant 
or whatever enchant, and it sometimes it'll give you the the double, the double enchant. Oh man, check this out. This is just crazy. Like, that's now, bad, dude. That's like OP. Whoa. Okay, you can get more than double. Unbreaking <laughs> three, fire protection four, been. Jeez. Quadruple. Okay, well, one thing we noticed earlier when we were testing the double enchants is it is a flawed system, and, you know, this is a snapshot, so this is far from the perfected version, but the, the flaw that we found is uh, one I'm of the books I got out. was a power three and a sharpness three, so basically one of those is for the bow and one of them is for the sword, so <laughs> it's kind of silly, so yeah. I don't know if that's just going to be sort of like a gag thing where it just happens to you sometimes or if they're going to fix that but either way double enchants is pretty cool and quadruple freaking awesome enchants is even cooler yeah. all right so in all addition right so to, no oh, go ahead in addition ahead. to that there is one new potion so far called the spl or well it's not necessarily a splash but it is the potion of water breathing so i'm gonna put my water breathing potion on i'm show you what it does jump in this water it's pretty i think it's pretty the plain and simple what it does there you go, I have water breathing, counting down in my inventory, I'm being hit by Matt. See, we're <laughs> breathing this water, and it's not like Aqua Infinity, or Aqua Affinity or anything, where you kind of breathe water, but you don't at the same time. Here, you're actually breathing the water. Maybe, well the uh, you can fish underwater. Yeah, I don't think so, because you can't even fish above water right now. <laughs> Alright, so that, that, that is it from me, so, for now. Alright. Now we're going to head over here into the desert far, far away from, well, not very far, actually, but just far from there. And actually, when you, uh, we're going to get a creeper egg. Uh, There's another way to uh, kill a creeper or detonate a creeper. Just going to... You may want to be in game mode. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, that'd be good a good idea. idea. <laughs> this is awesome. So we're going to spawn the creeper. So he's just here. I have the flint and steel. Oh, no. Boom! <laughs> you set him on fire. And he's gone. He's coming for me, dude. Save me. Yay! <laughs> and that's... That's pretty it. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Oh, you also splash on the... Oh, oh, no! <laughs> oh, oh, you're missing him! Get him! <laughs> that awesome. time he... All right. Now There's we're also gonna new head particle over here. effects, though, dude. You, you guys see that so It's awesome. When you hit the uh, sand, it like splashes up. That's pretty cool. All uh, right. Let's see. Yeah. No. <laughs> it didn't happen for you. Here, watch me. Watch. We're gonna watch Caleb. You see it? No. Oh well, sorry. Oh well. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> this is a new thing with Nether portal portals. You could pretty much have any size you want. I'm not. I believe the biggest you can go is like 44 by 44, I think, Something which is actually big. really big. Yeah. And so this is the smallest you can go without building just. The regular one, which would just be stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, we have just the longer one. It's pretty cool. cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it. I'm glad they did that. I think that's one people have been waiting a long time for, so it is it's pretty You awesome. could build a nether portal house. Yes. That's a, <laughs> excellent. It'd be like a futuristic house. Yeah. Alright, so in addition to all these cool add-ons, flowers, and terrain types, and fishies, and portals, and blowing up creepers, the big update, the, the whole point of this update is biomes. 1.7 is called the biome update. The and there biome are a update. lot of cool updates. First of all, there is the sunflower plains, where we're you might wanna You might want to F, F3, yeah, let them see the biome. There you go. It's called sunflower Plains. Sunflower plains, guys. It's basically There's just a plains that a bunch of sunflowers come in. And uh, some oxy. Your, your yeah, favorite oxy. flower. Yeah, oxy daisies. There they are. There they are. So here's here's the sunflower plain. It's just a plain with a bunch of sunflowers where you can tell yeah. where east is at all times. 
But there are some <laughs> other biomes, and we're going to show you those biomes right now. Alrighty, you guys, we're back. This is actually the next new biome. It's called the Cold Beach. It's pretty much... It's, it's really just ice. Yeah. It's pretty straightforward. <laughs> yeah. It's ice and water. It's just ice yeah. instead of sand. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, and then in addition to the cold beach, we have ice plains, which is another simple one. It's just plains, just like uh, normal plains from 1.6 and before that, except there's snow and there is uh, uh, spruce ice. trees and stuff and there's ice and stuff. So it's pretty straightforward and simple. And that's that. So let's go. Uh, let's go look at another biome. All right. This is the next snowy, snowy, icy mount uh, biome. <laughs> Anyways, this is pretty much just, uh, this is a biome ice mountain. It's just pretty much a mountain <laughs> that's <Yeah>. very snowy. <laughs> you can see the ice around it. That's, that's it's just cool. snowy. It's, yeah. mass, it's massive, a massive mountain. Yeah, it is. I'd be scared to climb it. It's like. I'm it's Mount Everest. It's a hole in it too. All right, so let's go to another biome. It's pretty cool, but I'm sure that I know there's cooler. All right, so the next biome is a little more interesting. It's pretty pretty cool. This is what they call a stone beach right here. I'm in the ocean right now. Stone beach. It's pretty cool. It's basically like pretty much like the the, the cold beach, but instead of uh, grass or sand, it's stone. And actually, this one is like a flipping cliff. Going into yeah. the water and this epic waterfall, water slide uh, of doom here. We yeah, water slide. Be awesome and water slide mm. down. I'd love to live here. This is an awesome place. This this is kind of a simpler one, uh, but it's actually really cool because I mean, just just look at that. Look at that awesome look at that. terrain. Look at that stone beach, guys. Look at that stone so majestic. beach. <laughs> just just amazing. so majestic. But wow. believe it or not, there are more majestic, more beautiful, more awesome Even biomes more majestic. coming to you in this snapshot. It'll be awesome. Let's go see them. All right. Uh, here's like the next biome. This is a savanna. Probably my favorite. It's pretty epic. Yeah. yeah. I just like the, uh, the way the trees are. It is, I thought... Maybe they they would have new a uh, new uh, like wood, but really it's just it's just jungle wood. Yeah. And uh, another thing I like about it is the rivers. They just have the winding river through. It's pretty cool. This is so cool, dude! Like I would love to. Oh, there's a village over there. It's so awesome! It's so awesome. Uh, yeah. But there's, there's so many sheep. Yeah, this is, I guess the savannah. They need to put like elephants or something in this thing. Oh, and up here. Uh, come up here. This this is pretty cool. Here's something All else. Right. Up there? Yeah. Now something about this okay. this update is up that there. there are these things called, I think they're like biome modifiers or something. And there's uh, plateaus, hills, M, which just means it's like really rare and it's going to be really awesome. And I think there's, and then there's temperature, like cold, dry, hot. And so this is an example of that. This is a, what did I just do? <laughs> this is, I'm this thinking, is a savanna plateau. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's a savanna plateau. It's pretty cool. I mean, epic, right? It's just a yeah. big plateau. So, I mean, I could go all Lion King up in here. But, Lion King. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there needs to be a pride rock here, but it's pretty cool. So they're adding like actually specific landforms, uh, specific temperature to places, and that's the other thing. They're making the biomes more realistic. So no longer will you go from a desert into a uh, ice biome. You know, you're gonna yeah. go from a desert into a savanna, into a, a forest, into uh, something new, into an ice place, and it's gonna be more realistic like that. Yeah, did you notice that uh, the leaves are actually oak leaves? Oh, yeah. they're You know, and they had talked about putting in a new wood, but they never did it, so. Like, but it's oh, like. Wow. That's weird. It's lighter in my hand, but once I put it down. So I wonder, I wonder if they're planning to put a new wood in here, but they just haven't done it yet. Yeah. Maybe they are. All right, well, that's pretty cool. So let's go check out another one. All right. 
The next biome is called the Roof Forest, I guess, because it seems like a roof. I mean, roof of leaves, yeah. Yeah, just like a canopy. And it's really weird because mushroom trees grow mm-hmm. in this, and they're like quadruple-sized trees. They're, they're like the old big. jungles, except they're like spruce ones. Actually, they're bigger. They're, wow. Yeah. That's awesome. It's pretty cool. I like this one. This is one of my my favorites, I think. I like the roof aesthetic, but I can see this getting very old very fast, though. Depending yeah, on walking through it. Yeah, because one thing I hate is clearing leaves, but it looks cool. So yeah. I like I like that they're making more use of mushrooms now, of the mushroom yeah. trees. So it's pretty cool. But there are there are cooler you, ones still. Usually, okay. Usually you just don't find, like, the mushroom trees spawn like you find the little bitty mushrooms right in like the old but you never but you never find like them fully grown yeah it's pretty cool unless you're at a uh what is it mushroom biome yeah um, mushroom island mushroom biome over there Yeah. yeah anyways we're gonna we're gonna go off to the next biome all right, so this is the the next biome. This is called a birch forest. Uh, basically, it's just like a normal forest, except instead of oak trees, you have a bunch of birch. I hear some flowers. I think what, what were these lilacs or something like that? Come on, man, we just studied those. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> anyway, anyway, flowers. And uh, here's another one of those modifiers I was talking about. You know, the savanna plateaus, but this is a birch forest hill. So it's a hill. Uh, the specific like. Uh, structure is a geographic structure is a hill this time but the terrain the biome is still birch forest just modified with hills it's pretty cool i mean it's basically just like a forest just with a different type of wood so it's nothing special really but it, it is cool i'm i'm glad they're mixing it up that's a uh, that's a lot of birch yeah it is a lot of birch birch is kind of hard to find before before uh <laughs> this update so now it's just a freaking although i've never really liked birch wood so I really? Yeah. I'm, I like that wood. Really? Yeah. Awesome. Well, let's go look at some other biomes. Alright, you guys, this one p- pretty much speaks for itself. This biome is called Deep Ocean, and we're going to dive right in <laughs> to explain to you what it is. Okay, so no, Glowstone does not spawn in Deep Ocean. We put this down here so you could see better. Actually, at the bottom of deep ocean would be gravel. Not sure why. Yeah, I think I, this, the oceans are all gravel in general now, actually, now that I look around. Which is kind of silly, because, I don't know, are I oceans mean, all gravel in real life? I mean, I imagine sand, but... Yeah, me too, but... Maybe I imagine I glowstone. <laughs> glowstone. It's pretty awesome. I mean, I like it. And it's a lot deeper, too, like... Yeah. Really deep. Like, jeez. It's pretty awesome. But also, uh, oceans in this update are promised to not consume the map so much. So there will still be some big oceans, I think, but they're just not so much of the map will be oceans. Whereas before, as me and Matt have experienced, even oh, try, trying to film Let's Plays, <laughs> it was we can bad, dude. literally, on our, I think our first try trying to film The Better Survival, yeah, we we, we couldn't find land. Just in water, we went into game mode and couldn't find land. Like it was that bad. It was really bad. So I hope I hope they stick to their word with that. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna go off to our next biome. All right, so our next biome is Extreme Hills Plus. So uh, I mean, it seems pretty stupid to have an Extreme Hills Plus. We already have an Extreme Hills, right? No, wrong. Extreme Hills, uh, <laughs> pretty awesome. I'm actually always a fan of Extreme Hills, especially in Pixelmon, because in Pixelmon, it's awesome. So, but Extreme they Hills are pretty drive cool. Drive by. But Extreme Hills Plus is like the Godzilla Extreme Hills, where there's like super hills that aren't even hills. Like I don't know if these are really hills anymore. They're more cliffy to me, but like huge cliffs. But I mean, this is pretty hilly. So, and there's uh, snow on some of them and whatnot and yeah, it's yeah. Extreme Hills Plus is pretty cool. It's pretty crazy. It'd be hard to build here, though. Yeah, did you ever tell uh, the them how uh, 
snow is based on altitude or the oh, Y. Oh yeah, I forgot that. Yeah, depending on that's why there's uh, snow on like random places here. Uh, over here, it's actually just in extreme hills, but that's what we were talking about. Uh, more specific things like cold environments and and hills and and plateaus and stuff like that. But something else that they've done is they've made it so that snow at a certain altitude, a certain a certain Y will actually spawn. So, see, we're really high. We're like, uh, what, 110, 100s and stuff. I don't know the exact math of it, but there's places where basically anywhere at a certain altitude, uh, snow will spawn. And I don't know if that's necessarily true of everywhere, maybe not deserts and stuff, but uh, it's just they're trying to make it a little more realistic, maybe. I don't know if it's necessarily that they're trying to make it more realistic or that they're just trying to make it more complicated. But yeah, snow will spawn at a certain altitude. It's pretty cool, I think. Yeah. I'm liking it. They're making adding new dimensions to Minecraft. It's gonna just be be crazy. Yeah, it is. So let's see our new biome, our next biome. All right, guys. So our next biome is the flower forest. It's special in a kind of uh, feminine way that I kind of need today. So it's pretty awesome, though. Actually, it, it does look pretty cool. It's very colorful. This is your, your one-stop flower shop, your destination for all your flower needs. With florist. Your, yeah, this is your florist. Yeah, so say hello to a new level of Minecraft floweriness and colors. These can all be made into dyes. It's pretty cool, actually. I mean, you go, you fly up, and all you see is just flowers everywhere. It's amazing. It is pretty cool. Uh, it's basically just like a, uh, a forest uh, maybe kind of like a, a forest hills, uh, but it's basically like a forest with just a bunch of flowers in it. And I don't know what makes it so special that it thinks it can grow all these flowers. There's like a lot of bees here or butterflies or something. But uh, I don't know. It's pretty cool. I like all the flowers. I like. I do like the new flowers. I think they look good. I don't know what these yeah. are. They're, they're like naked lady flowers. I don't know. But anyway, so there are. But we have just gotten through the the kind of cool biomes, guys. Coming up are the and I hope three, you're ready. Yeah, coming up are the three coolest biomes in this update. Top three. Top three. Starting Top with three. Coming starting up. with uh, starting with number three. Here we go. All right, our our top three biomes. Our top three best biomes starts with number three. Super. No, not super. <laughs> Mega Tega. Tega Tiger. So here we have a mega taiga, and here's the podzel, the podzel dirt we were talking about. Yeah, and then, and then here's the grassless dirt. We noticed that that was here too, and I don't know why, but mossy cobblestone is actually in. That's pretty cool. In not here too. Not just dungeons anymore. Yes, yeah, so you can go to mega. Mega Tigers and get some mossy cobblestone if you want. <laughs> so these are actually just humongous spruce trees and pretty crazy. It's like jungle yeah. trees again. Yeah. And there's a normal take over here. Oh yeah. It's pretty. It's it's like the lamer version of the Mega Tega, right? But then yeah. before in 1.6 there was the Tega. Which, unlike this Tega, was actually snow covered. But yeah. it was just this Tega, but it was snow covered. But now there's actually a cold Tega, and cold Tega is like the 1.6 version of the Tega. So now the old Tega is cold Tega, and the new Tega is basically a spruce forest, and the mega Tega is like a freaking spruce jungle of craziness. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. I like it. it is. But now. Yeah. Off to number two. So here we are, everybody, on uh, final number two. This is our second favorite biome. It just might be my favorite biome. I'm not sure. I can't decide. I like the next one, but this might be my favorite. But I know me and Matt both really like this one, but we both really like the next one. So this is pretty cool. This is the Ice Plains Spikes. It's a weird name. But basically what it is is it's like the Ice Plains we saw earlier. But it's actually kind of hilly, so it's not even like a plane. So I don't know. I guess there's probably versions of it that are just planes. I don't know. I think this is actually an ice plane spikes hill. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe not. This adds more confusion to it. But uh, 
basically what it is is a bunch of spires of packed ice. That packed ice we, we looked at earlier, it's just this packed ice that can't be melted. Um, when you break it, it doesn't turn into water, stuff like that. I think there's also normal ice down here. Yeah, there's normal ice in here, but uh, it's pretty cool. I mean, I think it's pretty awesome. The, the spires are epic. I don't know how much there is worth building in this area. <laughs> Because I mean, of, just looking at all of it. Is... Yeah, it's kind of crazy. So it's cool to look at, but I don't know if you could really, if I could see building a home here. Whereas uh, on uh, our top pick, I could definitely see building a home there. So, so uh, this is pretty awesome. But I think, yeah, I think I just decided I like the next one more. So the next yeah. one's gonna be pretty cool, and we're gonna go over to our number one pick for the new biomes. Number one. All right. We got our number one biome, number one news biome that they're making for 1.7. This is called Mesa. I believe it's like, it's supposed to be a canyon. I think that's what, yeah, and actually it's a, it has a Mesa plateau really? with it. Yeah. It's nice. pretty sick. Nice find. It's pretty cool. And then there's an F, which I'm guessing means forest, so even better. Oh yeah, you're in the you're in the mess of Plateau Forest, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's just a bunch of sand and hardened, colored hardened clay. I mean, you can farm so much clay. I know it's so cool. Like, it's so awesome. It's so, it's simple, but like, building here would be so awesome for two reasons. You have a ton of clay to build with. Aside of all, it's just so cool looking. I mean, yeah. epic. Like, who doesn't want to live in a canyon? I don't know. I've never actually thought about living in a canyon. Who doesn't want to live in a canyon when they grow up? Yeah. But, yeah, there is this, uh, what is this? Mesa, yeah, Mesa Plateau Forest, you're right. It's pretty cool. Is it growing on the plateau? Oh, oh, what? Yeah, oh, it is. Underneath of the forest, it's just all clay. Oh, my gosh, this is so epic. Yeah, this is definitely the best one. Oh, I can't wait to build, like, an awesome house on one of these. Heck yes, dude. Definitely gonna do that. I'm gonna rock it out. Well, guys, uh, we hope you enjoyed uh, this snapshot of 1.7. Uh, Mojang has been nice enough to give us a glimpse of of what is to come on 1.7. And, and it's not perfected yet. It's, it's looking pretty cool, but... Uh, you know, we, we, we did identify a few problems, and not that they're big problems, they're just things that they probably haven't looked into yet. But, I mean, I, I think that this means 1.7 might be coming soon, but that may be a lie. Maybe not. But, uh, I don't I, know. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. We, we saw a lot of new stuff, especially the new biomes. Um, in the description below, we will be putting the seeds to all the servers, or to all the worlds we went to. We went to a few different worlds. Uh, most of them we found on one world, but there was a few that we had to go to other seeds. We will also be putting coordinates to all the biomes that we visited, pro plus probably a few extras. So uh, everything that we did, uh, biome-wise, will be in the description. Uh, the link to Matt's channel will be in my description. And, yeah. Uh, my link in yours, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> definitely, dude. <laughs> Gotta feel the love, guys. So, if you did like it, please drop a like, drop a rate. Uh, please uh, uh, tell somebody about us. Put the word out. Um, we are small. We're trying to grow, trying to make a name for ourselves. So, if you did like it, please do subscribe. Please check out our other content. We have we have a lot of stuff. We've pretty much just started recently, but we do have a lot of videos out there. We have a lot of series going. And uh, we yeah. think they're pretty good, so please check them out. We're doing several things, and we have a lot of big things planned for the future. So please, for you, for me, for for oh, oh, the, for them, for them, for them. <laughs> not you. All right, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we we have big things planned for the future for you guys, and uh, yeah. So please <laughs> drop a like, like, uh, subscribe, and uh, we will see you later. Swag.